bus and I like to see kids enjoying themselves. You won't live long enough to see anything if you don't get off that wire. Who, uh, hey, yeah, who said that? Do you realise you're sitting on a live electric wire? Well, so what? Can't hurt us birds. It will if you touch the wire above it with your wings. Hmm? You'll get hundreds of volts through you. <laughs> you were kidding, weren't you? No, I wasn't. That's why I get worried when I see children playing near pylons. Or overhead power lines. Or substations. Yeah, well, I know I'm going to play safe in future. There. You said it. I said what? The golden rule. Play safe. These are not telephone wires. They're overhead power lines carrying high voltages. Without them, lots of people wouldn't have any electricity. So when you go out to enjoy yourself, play safe and make sure there are no overhead lines about. Watch out! Those wires are alive! If you want to have fun and stay alive, keep away from overhead... Don't forget that there's water in the bathroom, too. It's no place to use portable appliances like hair dryers, even if they're plugged in outside. What about razors? The boss uses one every day. Only because it's got a special socket which is safe for shavers only. And like all the wiring in this house, it was installed by a professional electrician. Well, I know I'm going to treat electricity with respect in future. There's nothing to be frightened of, provided you use care and common sense. Oh, exactly. Remember, keep your eyes open for worn or damaged flexes. And never join two pieces of flex together with tape. <coughs> Even if you know how to fit a new plug, make sure it's got the right fuse. Always try to put only one plug in the same socket and don't leave trip wires lying around. Don't fill things like kettles and steam irons when they are plugged in. And never handle plugs, switches or any electrical appliance with wet hands. Misusing electrical equipment can also cause burns. Radiant heaters like this should never be used anywhere near young children. Though the element is guarded, curious young hands may still find it irresistibly inviting. If you use electrical equipment in the wrong place or for the wrong purpose, it's not only children who are likely to suffer. Doing this sort of thing is asking for trouble. Here, they won't be making the same mistake again. And that is the end of our program. Electrical equipment is perfectly safe if it's regularly maintained and used correctly. But if you take risks, you must expect to pay for them. Faulty electrical apparatus causes fires. And the handiwork of do-it-yourself electricians causes trouble every day. Using time-lapse photography, we can show what will happen over a much longer period when the insulation fails a fire may well result, as it did in this case. When a husband and wife died, 
the coroner blamed the husband's do-it-yourself wiring. If you've got to extend a cable, use the right equipment for the job. And unless you've been trained to do the job properly, call in a qualified electrician. It's usually cheaper in the long run. This is the right way to connect this 13 amp plug. The yellow and green earth at the far end, the blue neutral on the left, and the brown live on the right. Do it the wrong way and it can prove expensive. A baby died after touching this electric fire. The live and neutral wires had been connected the wrong way round. So although the switch was in the off position, the fire was still live. And just look at the wiring. Wiring doesn't last forever. If you overload your power supply, again, you'll put yourself in danger. Using time-lapse photography, we can show how cables feel the strain. When the insulation fails, it causes a short circuit. A fire may well follow. So when you get home today, take a fresh look at your electrical apparatus. It's so easy to overlook the results of years of wear and tear. Easy and sometimes fatal. That bug's right. Yeah, look. Tom's had a go at this. Look! Over there, there's a football! Oh, yeah. Keep an eye on you two. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hang on, mate. It's place to electrify. Look, just take a look. Oh, that's a frightened little kid. You all right if you don't touch anything? I've seen people working up there. Yeah, well, um, I don't particularly want to mess around with this type of stuff. It's not worth it. Come on, Darren. Andy's going. Like him. No People who supply all the electricity you lot waste at home. Yeah. Now, I've been sent along today to tell you about some of the dangerous things people do when they're near electrical installations. In short, I'm here to tell you how to avoid killing yourself. Now then, you look a pretty intelligent bunch. Well, some of you anyway. So you can read this sign then. And these ones? Of course you can. They all warn you about danger. Anyone know what one of these is? Or one of these? Anyone? Mr. Jones? Yes? They're electricity boxes. They're electricity distribution substations. And there's thousands of them up and down the country. There could be one at the end of your road. Now, if you see a sign like this stuck on the gate of a substation, it's pretty clear what it means, isn't it? What do you think it means? It means you shouldn't go inside because it's dangerous. Does everyone agree? You're right, if you don't touch your stuff inside. I've seen the workman climbing all over the one near us. But as you might have heard on the news, a young lad broke into a substation yesterday. And just like you, he could read the signs. But I guess he thought, they're for someone else. I'll be okay. And now he's dead. I reckon we should have a whip round tomorrow to get another ball. Well. Maybe. Hey, you. Come with me. Get your hand clear. You might get a bit of a shock. Yeah, some guy was telling us about it today in school. It's powerful stuff, isn't it? Stay there. Oh, look at that. It's only a loose connection. <sighs> Keep looking out. Taken Tom off to. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, he wouldn't. Get a football! Ball, 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 ball. No, Darren! Darren? How did he get in? Darren! This way! Tom! Darren! Darren!
Hit boy. Hit boy. Soon, you feel white right, then? You're gonna feel white. Right. Come on, quickly! Come on, he's hurt real bad. Get back from those doors. Get back, back now. Is he going to be all right, is he? I said get back! Do you want to end up like this too? Stand clear. Shocking. Now! I need to know how many minutes he's been like this. Well, I don't know. How should I know? Stand clear. Shocking. Now! Did anyone see what happened? No. Stand clear. Shopping now. Over 30 deaths happen every year due to electrical accidents and electrical fires. This is Ali. Watch her story and see if you can spot all the electrical hazards involved. You may even recognise one or two in your own home. Everywhere else, Bishop's Yarley, in the heart of England, is suffering an epidemic of seismic proportions. An epidemic where chipmunks are dying. Victims of knockoff electrical goods. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again. Hello, darling. You look like a girl who knows a bargain. That one's the best in the world. You'll not find anything better than that, except for this one, straight from Hollywood. Look at that. Yes? Fantastic, and all in very good working order. They're distracted by the finer things in life. And don't see the value in genuine goods. Not until it's too late. But this can be avoided. It may cost a little extra, but invest in genuine goods. It's worth it. Please, don't get exploded by dodgy electronics. 
If you do, you can't say you haven't been warned. Because I've just warned you. <laughs>